Plasmorphosis. Plasmorphosis. Thank you, Machiavelli. Let's begin. We got Citizen F. Tank controls and you go. I'm going to play with tank controls against my better judgment. I guess this is us. We're a bit hot, oh my god. Hello, my name is Ava. I hope somebody is listening to this recording. I'm on my way to the modern city. TTS? I guess you are just like me, evacuating yes. from dark energy bursts that outspread on the continent. I hope the modern city will be a safe haven for me and other people too. Maybe even a home. I will be leaving notes just in case something goes wrong. But in some way, my gut instinct tells me that it's going to be... Oh, she's dead. Oh. Was nice knowing her. For about 17 seconds. Attention, all citizens. Oh god, this looks bad. Hey, hey there, stranger. It's Eva's message. I hope it reached you. You probably arrived and are waiting for your transfer. For now, you can stretch the muscles of your legs on the platform. Just don't buy water from the vending machines. It tastes weird. Does it have something in it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. If you need privacy, follow the green light to the restroom. It's easy to get in, but it's hard to get out. Just kidding. If anyone bothers you, turn around and better run away. People here are nasty after the evacuation. You can use my... Now your phone as a flashlight. Don't lose it in the dark. You'll still need it to keep track of everything you've got. I'll leave a special QR code on the wall so I can help the newcomers because everyone is as intimidated as possible. I hope the codes don't get erased by the soldiers of Sovereign, though they're obviously not up to it right now. Good luck. Hope we meet soon. I have no idea what that meant. All right, so prepare weapons, right click, interact is E, reload is R. Okay. Seems pretty standard. This place is pretty big. I've got a water bottle. They said don't use the water bottles, right? This is definitely something mixed in the new water from the government of Sovereign. You don't feel thirsty or hungry and get more energy from the nowhere after drinking just one bottle. Some kind of miraculous water. Alright, it's time to go in the second floor for the screening process. It's all strict. Everyone's also intimidated by the excessive dose of dark energy. <laughs> I need to be more careful. Alright. So don't drink the water. Got it. I'm going to accidentally drink the water at some point and die. The presence of additional mannequins is quite disconcerting. Great. Is it a mannequin with a tie? Is there going to be a fashion show? Well, okay. This dialogue is a bit weird, isn't it? This is our max running speed, by the way, this. There's like a crowbar over here, actually. South part of Magnet. I feel the translation for this game is probably not an English speaker. It's locked. The doorknob is engraved with a heart symbol. I wonder what that could mean. Probably need to find a heart key, I'm going to guess. Definitely feels like a non-native English speaker for the translation, because it feels a bit... a bit wrong. The question is, is this going to be as difficult as things like Alisa, or not? I still have PTSD from Alisa. Like, holy shit. Okay, there's like a save from here. It's a laptop to write data of excavation. Save your progress. Yes. Okay, you don't need a disc to save. Okay. That's nice. Alright, painkillers. The Sovereign TM. Branded painkillers, but the best. Water bottle. And I'm guessing this is a storage thing. Oh no, just more painkillers and a 9mm clip. Do I even have a gun? I do not. Okay, so the water bottles do restore health. 
Okay. And they numb agonizing wounds. Hmm. Oh, a lovely looking toilet there. How well? The flush button's broken, so the water cannot wash away the sewage. I should try knocking on the drain tank. Maybe something will come out. Knock on the left. Knock on the right. Try flushing. Hmm. There's something in there. But I'm not really sure what I'm meant to be doing with it. If I just keep knocking in one direction. Hundreds of times. Maybe even a million times. Hmm. Oh, well, well I'll leave that for now. Oh, there's something written on it? Oh, shit, I can barely see that in the dark. Right. Right. Yeah, I can barely see that, sorry. So dark. Left. Left. Now we try flushing. Why didn't that work? I'm not an idiot, right? I did that correctly. Unless it's left, left, right, right, try flushing. There we go. So it's the opposite of what it says, because it's pointing at that part, I guess, is what it actually means. A med kit. A toilet med kit. I love toilet med kits. They're so lovely. May as well save again while I'm here. What the hell? It's locked. Alright, there's only one thing for it, guys. We need to exit through the toilet. What is going on here? Where is everybody? This place feels so empty. I'm waiting for you. In a new place. In a new reality. Where humanity is free from its shackles. Promise me that you will come. I thought I saw a ghost. Was that Eva, the girl who left the phone on the train? I just don't know, but this is all too weird. Listen, we're talking to... She's, this is probably a lesbian cyberpunk adventure. Okay. Must be. Only rational conclusion one can reach. We don't have a key for the thing yet, anyway, so... I have no idea where I'm going to be going at the moment. Not that that's surprising for me, or, or shocking. Is there any other way to go other than that heart door that we don't have the key for? Yeah, there is, up here. This place doesn't look too nice, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a bit worried. Especially as that She is running weird, actually. She's, like... Wobbling her legs? You see that? Like, it's like... It's like she's rotating her ankles? Oh, I didn't want to save again, but fuck it. Lots of saves. I'm, I'm okay with lots of saves. water bottle. I need a power distributor fuse key to activate this. Oh, of course. The terminal is disabled. Probably no power. Okay, so we need to turn on the power here as well. It just possibly had a root chakra destroyed. She definitely isn't looking too hot in the way she's running. I guess we're going towards the mannequins for now. I don't know what that thing is on her leg. It's like a... 
Looks pretty tight, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a very jammy place. Activate power sockets device. Yes? I don't have enough power plugs yet. Oh wow, there's loads of shit to do here. And we still have yet to find any definitive thing for progression. Excellent. Wow. The five on the wall might be relevant to something, but I'm not entirely sure what, if anything, yet. Camera angles are interesting. There's a four there as well. So we have five, a four. It's like, look at the four! Look at it! I mean, it is the biggest number, so I would understand why they want to show it off to as many people as possible. It makes sense. I got a bat with nails. My first weapon, I guess. I should probably equip this. Cutting edge. Cutting edge gameplay. Got a tablet. What the fuck is this? It's a relink tablet. It's broken, though. For those digits, could they represent a part of a code? So it's 4586. There are also some markings on the backside. Perhaps it's an intention hint left intentionally? Okay. So it's it's 5864. Because the middle bit is probably what's on here. So 5864. He used to be a baseball player until the ball hit his knee. Fuck off. Some guy that was standing behind me made a bat here for the sake of fun to frighten soldiers of Sovereign. According to the rules, this is not a melee weapon, but if sometime, someone finds it, feel free to use it. He said to remember a simple rule. Prepare a weapon and aim at the target, then hit it with a blow. You can also choose the position where to hit. More importantly, do not forget to hold the bat right. You can hit it from up or down. He doesn't know what awaits him here, but it's unlikely that his baseball career will suit the Sovereign for passing the energy screening process. We're definitely getting into a fight in a second. I've no idea where this code goes is the other problem here, though. Because uh, I haven't seen a keypad, which means I probably ran past a keypad like a dickhead at some point. Not like a dragon, by the way. Like a dickhead is uh, my version. Oh, 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 oh. Strange power plug. That was very easy to miss, right? Because it looked like it was through the bars. Okay, so we found one of the power plugs we need as well. I was going to say, it's definitely going to be a fight. I can hear, I can hear a monster. Or it's just going to run away. That is the other option too, of course. I do like the the fucking um, the way this looks. It looks really cool. Hi. You going to run away? Oh yeah, I'm going to run away still for now. It's only a matter of time. There is a five digit written on the wall. Oh, okay. Oh, we already knew that. 5864 is probably the. Oh, is this a pathway here? Like around the this way? No, it's not. It's an invisible wall. Okay, we need to find more power plugs for this. I don't know where the code goes, is the other problem. And we don't have the battery key. There was another path, I think, back from here as well, unfortunately. So let's go and look down there again. Does this go somewhere different or just the same place? I think it just goes the same place, right? It just... I just want to test, but I'm pretty sure it just goes the same place. Yeah. Just checking everything because the other thing was so hard to see. There's something over there. <laughs> as, I, as I bounce along. What the fuck is this animation, really? Is it just a laptop over here to save? 
I'm standing in line for a screening. A lot of people are taken away and brought to the lower floor. Few go further and not many are let out. Soldiers hover and say this is for our safety. The whole thing is weird. I don't know how to break free. I've got to get free. Break free. I've got to get sued. <laughs> Alright. Good old fashioned suing coming our way. I like I like it, says Gabe Newell. Thank you, Frill though, for the five. I appreciate that a lot. I will update my goal in a little bit. <laughs> There's something there on that mannequin. Look, you guys see that? I swear I looked at that one though already, right? Hmm. Better than human. Where the fuck is this heart key? Oh shit, guys. There's an item, look, down on the tracks. I would have never seen this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've got a teddy bear! A an item that I didn't think we needed, but apparently we might do. I met a boy who had a lot of teddy bears. He was giving them away for some reason to everyone he saw. He then eventually said it was his way of letting his dad know that he was here. I wonder where he is, I haven't seen this boy with anyone else. I hid mine here so he wouldn't be upset, I just don't have a proper place to keep it. You can take it for yourself, my stranger, who knows, it might come in handy. We should probably examine it, right? Because there could be like a... A heart inside it or something? I don't fucking know. Just looks like a teddy bear to me. Yeah, I can't look at it, so, uh... I don't know. Finding some weird shit, though, so far. Can we go on the train again and look around on the train for shit, by the way? Possibly is the answer to that question. From There's, like, an angle... Here? No, we can't go on. It's not real. Oh, we can go this way, too. Oh! The shots are really good. I really like the cinematic shots. That was really cool. Ah, so the dev is Ukrainian. I mean, I definitely can see this as a passion project. But so far, it's, it's pretty coherent. Like, I'm enjoying it. Uh... Oh, maybe this is where the code goes in? I've forgotten what the code is, if it is it. Door's locked. It has some strange bloody inlet. I wonder if I can open it. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is uh, for a code. God damn it. We were so close yet so far, guys. I want to break free. It's in my fucking head now. It's in my fucking head. There's no fucking escape from it either. Once you have a song in your head like that, it's just you're just done. All right, I went in the toilet and didn't really see anything or find anything useful in the end, but I am concerned now that uh, I don't know where to go. So bear with me a second. I do have a walkthrough for this game. Okay, so it's in this area there is a keypad that we've just walked past, I guess, a few times. So let's see if I can find it. This might go on YouTube, I haven't decided yet, Tomato. Like, uh, a lot of stuff I'll test out and see if it's worth going on. And if it is, we'll do it, and if it's not, we won't. It's in this area, it says, so uh, let's look around for a keypad. I still don't see one, I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't one, is it? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, there's another fucking... First of all, I missed this path here, and second, I've got Kororo Gonzo in my fucking head. Here's the keypad. Okay, so the code was 5864.
Why did I do that? Oh shit. I did not expect it to open the entire wall, but here we go. Doors closed, the locker looks rusty and rather small. Can I break it? <laughs> I'm not even sure if I hit. Yes. Hello. I see a metal key lying on the floor, but I can't reach it. If I only had something that could pull the key closer to me. Like a teddy bear? It's not a teddy bear, unfortunately. So yeah, with the visual effect in this game, I've already set it to the lowest it can be. It is originally way higher than this. It is originally like the PS1 walls moving type thing. So this is the lowest setting for the visual effect. Because I agree, I don't like them. Okay, we found the north part of the magnet, which I'm guessing we can combine with the south part of the magnet. And we have a magnet. I see people going in one at a time, but I don't see anyone coming back. Also, these strange mannequins are everywhere all the time. It's like they're alive. Maybe I was hallucinating, but I heard moaning from one of them. Alright, the quicker I get through the screening, the sooner I can leave here in peace so I won't be killed by the dark energy that was absorbed by my body. Lovely. I do love me some dark energy. I'm guessing we can use the magnet to suck the thing from down here. So let's go back and give it the good old fashioned suck. Can I do it from this side? I don't think so. I think I need to go all the way, unfortunately. Playing this with mouse and keyboard is surprisingly functional. I'm not playing it with controller because its theme said it wasn't like fully compatible with controller, although it did list um, controller controls in the menu, so I don't know like if one of those informations is incorrect. One of those informations. I've got a small metal key, probably for that door. Literally over here. Shall we have a quick look? Let's fucking go. Yep, it was for this door. So I'm going to a fight yet, which is good, but also concerns me greatly. Because combat in Silent Hill, let's be honest, it's not great. So will it be terrible in this? It's not like the nicest of places, does it? Let's be honest. Lovely. I got a swollen eyeball! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everyone's favourite! A corpse that was rotted like ages ago. Somehow the eye is still there. I don't there's anything else. I, don't, I think it won't be pushable anymore, but... Okay, yeah, it's a dead end now. Alright, so that was just to get the eyeball. Do you like a good eyeball? It's very sexy. I accidentally lit Chrism's eyeball once, by the way. Thought I'd share that with you all. She was pretty upset. I mean, I wasn't the greatest about it either, I'm going to be honest with you, because it was an accident. Although, she got her own back today, anyway. She sexed my glasses into not existing. Briefly, at least. What the fuck is the eyeball for, if this is the dead end, by the way? I don't know. There's been quite a lot of lesbian-toned horror lately, now I think about it. More than I remember there being previously. <coughs> I'm dying. 
There we go. I don't know how I was meant to know to do that, but the eyeball has opened the door. Oh, splooge. We do love a good splooge here. Okay, it looks like we need to move those bars out of the way. But are we spitting bars? <laughs> Probably keep my hand on the mouse in case we get suddenly ambushed and killed. Keep locked. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Alright, we can go in here. Oh, bullets again. For a gun we don't have as of yet. It's protective glass. I can't break it with my bare hands. Well, I would say there's a very good chance of enemies coming for us now, huh? I can use the laptop to write the progress. Hey, we can save here before we get wrecked by some enemies. There we go. Dead soldier of Sovereign. I don't know what happened, but this guy's a tough. What could have killed him? It's probably nothing. I wouldn't worry about it. I like that perfectly rectangular piece of glass in the middle there, by the way. It's beautiful. Nothing else in here. Definitely going to be some enemies now, though. Like, there's no way that the bumpkins are not on parade at this point. What the hell? Yeah, here we go. Is this... Mannequin, is this mannequin can move like some sort of fembot? I hope it's dead. Oh, hi. Oh, there's a lot of them. I wouldn't be surprised if these are the citizens of the city and the water has transformed them into this shit. It would make sense, like, from a why these mannequins are bleeding everywhere perspective. Got a rusty key. It's probably for that door back the other way. Why? It won't budge. I'm not going to lie. I thought that steam there for a minute was a mannequin. Nearly shat myself. Oh, we've got jam all over our visor. A jammy visor? Mm -mm -mm. Nothing beats a jammy visor. Oh, hi. Is this back where we came in? I'm scared to go through the door in case it isn't where we came in. And as a result, we're going to fucking uh, reset the enemies or some shit. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, it's where we came in. Excellent. Is this just to get the gun? There's got to be something down here that's useful. Other than the gun. Oh, I cannot proceed through this. Oh, we've been, we were stuck on the other side once we pushed the thing. Okay. So that's why we needed to get round. That makes actual sense now. As to why there was a puzzle to get round. I was like, why did I unlock a door to go nowhere?
I'm gonna double check for any secret areas that might be around. This, we can't do anything with, right? And we can't push this anymore. No, we can just hump it. Just give it a good old dry hump. Oh, yeah. Alright, it looks like this is a dead end for now. But, that doesn't explain where, I, where the fuck we need to go next. Hang on, did I? First of all, where am I? There we are, thank you. Fleshy pile of... Why? Mm -mm. Alright, that's not even locked. It just won't budge. It's jammed. Do like me some jam. Alright, well it seems like a dead end. Unless there's something in here... Then... Yeah. It doesn't look like it. I'm guessing the mannequins are gonna be everywhere now, though? I thought... The fuck is that noise? It's a mannequin, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna try using melee on it, because I'm running out of bullets already. Or just running away from it is the other option, I guess. Yeah, this is a little bit worrying. But I have nothing... I have nowhere to go. I bet I missed something back in that fucking place. Oh, this is bad. How do I tell my health? Oh. I guess this. I'm scared to drink the water. I'm scared to drink the water, chat, because the water... You know? Hmm. I think I need to go this way, by the way. Probably go and save in the toilets while I can, right? Go and have a nice big fat shit. By the way, a lot of you, because I talk about poo quite a lot, seem to think I have a poo fetish. This is not true, okay? I just think, right, that poo is funny. It's not funny if it gets on you, but in the context of a video game, it's always very, very funny. Yeah, I don't think we're doing too good. I'm gonna use the med kit. There we go. Now we're doing a lot better. So. What I think we need to do. And I may regret doing this, but I just saved, so it's okay if I completely fail at this. Let's go down here. See these barrels here? That's what we needed to do. Blow the way open. Oh, I've got more bullets, thank you. <laughs> A good old fashioned blow. That's what I like to see. Oh, we got another one of the power plugs. I hear a mannequin. I was gonna say. It just spun it! Do you see what it just fucking did? What a fucking asshole! What a fucking asshole! Just spun!
All right, if we push this. I feel like this is bad. I feel this is bad. I guess this is the only way to go though. I don't like the fact that this is the only way to go, but we'll we'll wing it. Hello, mannequin Nomkin, hello. Fuck you. Giving you lots of ammo, at least. Oh, that was a delayed death, wasn't it? What the fuck? <laughs> Did you see the way it fell? After, after it had been riddled with bullets? Oh. That hurt. Oh, it's so, it's so bum. Part 2 instructions for personnel and soldiers of Sovereign on the transformation of the screened, evacuated human individuals. Any evacuee has been received a massive dose of Risa's dark energy. Must undergo a transformation procedure for their own good. The transformation procedure is called plasmatomorphosis. Warning, all personnel must be equipped with protective suits so not to get an excessive dose of dark energy since the transformation involves a large release of Risa's can cause serious damage to the body, both physically and mentally. Risa's pieces are the cure. Men undergo the procedure of transformation into Phantasmorph type Stalker. The type of Phantasmorph is stronger and tougher than Phantasmorph, Phantasmorph type Mannequin, but ineffective without armored equipment. All Plastomorphs of this type must be redirected to the Nexus Tower to the Citizens Defense Bureau after finishing their transformation. It is recommended to transfer in Anabiosis, as most Phantasmorph type soldier stop Stalker are very aggressive and can attack personnel after transformation. These Plastomorphs turn out to be excellent soldiers of the Sovereign, which are suitable for most combat tasks. The body shall be reused to transform into a new Plastomorph after it loses its combat ability. The procedure is still not automated for a stable result. Malfunctions are possible, and all spent material must be disposed of as well as possible unsuccessful Plastomorph. Non-compliance to this instruction will result in the deprivation of nutritional and stimulation rewards. Lovely! People are turning into mannequins to be made into super soldiers. I'm guessing that might be one of them there. I see there's a fuse that powers everything here. I should try powering down the equipment. Maybe it will disable the overcharge the fuse is generating. Keypad located behind protective glass. I can't break it with my bare hands. Well, it's funny you should ask. Waiting for processor spent biomaterial. Preparation for disposal. Launch. It might not be happy about that, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, this is more of it. Instructions for personnel soldiers of Sovereign on the transformation of the screened evacuated human individuals. Any evacuee who's received a massive dose of research, dark energy must undergo a transformation. We already know this. Women undergo the procedure of transformation into Phantasmorph Mannequin type. This type of Phantasmorph... So I keep saying Phantasmorph, it's Plastomorph. Is ideal for all maintenance and basic physical work. The Plastomorph type Mannequin is equipped with first level protective features to avoid damage during dangerous work and also supports soldiers of Sovereign in suppression in the event of a commotion in the modern city. The procedure is still not automated for state. We already know this, so okay. That's about male and female mannequins, essentially. The, the soldiers are going to be big and mean, and the mannequins are going to be soft and sexy, just like all men and women are with no variance whatsoever. Okay. How do I turn these off? I don't really know. I'm going to try the door down here quickly. I already have this weapon. Maybe you can extract some ammo out of it. Oh, it's a pistol. There's a pistol there if you missed the pistol before, I guess. Or you came here first? No, you couldn't come here first. Because you need to blow up the barrels, and you need the pistol. I guess I guess you could have meleeed the barrels, like, like someone who's uh, who's got a death wish, I guess. But uh, all right, that's all that's in here. All 
This is going pretty well, right? Like, this is going alright. We haven't died horribly yet. How do I power shit down? Like, why do we go here, by the way? What is this? There's nothing to interact with, but it's like there. I gave this man the suck. <laughs> and he's gone. Story of my life. <laughs> wow, I'm so immature. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know how to power down the equipment to get so we can grab the fuse, but... Did I do this already? Oh, we gotta do this side as well. Yes. Suck it. Oh no! We printed one! We printed... A MAN! No! I'm not sure he's doing alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have him stun locked. Jesus Christ. Okay, we know where this goes. This goes all the way back at the start, this fucking key. So we have a long way to go back. The enemies are respawning. Do I use it? I do. I use the sovereign pills rather than the water. Oh, that was the super one from before. I'm glad I shot it, because it probably would have killed me. I didn't realise it was the super one. I need a power distributor key, which we found. Yes. And that's doing something. Activate research terminal? Sure. What am I doing? I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna be honest with you. What am I looking at? Could be in trouble here, guys. Especially as the walkthrough for this just says, solve the puzzle. It's not particularly helpful, is it? Let's be honest. I'm guessing we need to match them, but I don't really see how that's going to happen. Because I don't really seem like they could ever align, and they're going so fast they can't focus on what I'm doing. Excellent. Hmm. Yeah, it just says, solve the puzzle. Oh god, guys, what am I doing? I feel like it's just close, right? What am I missing? I feel like this is pretty close, but... Did it. Wow, that was confusing. We opened the door. 
This looks really bad. Alright, we have mannequins. Oh, hi! We have the boss one. Alright. Focus on the one with the knife, I think, here. Bit hard to when uh, there's like 20 other ones in the way. It does like a ranged scream that does. Uh, could be in trouble here. I am in trouble here. It does like a ranged attack that, that fucks you. And it teleports behind you as well. That's not allowed. I'm dead. Holy shit, that was incredibly difficult. I've got to do the fucking thing again, by the way. Especially when there's no, like, proper auto-aim. That was really fucking lucky there. Holy shit. Uh, I've got one heal left. I may as well use it. I can reload from this screen, which is good, I just realised. So I don't have to do it on the fly anymore. Didn't know that. Got it! We got it! Woo! We got it! That was really difficult. Holy shit. But we did beat it. Makes me worry about the later bosses, though. Alright. Well, we know where that goes. Is there anything else here that's worth grabbing? Because I'm out of heals and bullets, pretty much. And I'm really lucky to have made it through that. You watch, you serve. Oh, there's something in the fridge over here. Uh, heals and ammo, okay. Definitely better than a kick in the teeth, let's go. Had to kill that because the mannequin will not open its hands to give you the spark plug unless it is dead. It is locked shut until the boss is dead. Let's get the fuck out of here, hopefully. We've got two spark plugs. Unless I've missed one and there's like, there's, only t there's like seven or some shit. I guess we're about to find out whether I've missed one or not. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> oh god. Well, they're dead. And there's something over here as well. Alright, more ammo's good. Imagine if I had had to melee that, by the way, I'd be so dead. Okay, so we have another puzzle here of some description. Hmm. I do not know what I'm doing here. Can I move them? D did I do it? What the fuck? That- I, I- I genuinely had no idea what I was doing. Uh, get off of this. There's an enemy. Should probably kill the enemy first. Why was the first one so difficult? I got the heart key! We know where that goes too! That's like right at the beginning! What is this? There's a crowbar stuck in the door. I can pull it off. Probably I should be a PhD in theoretical physics to do this. Is that a Half-Life reference? Oh my god! A Half-Life reference in my video game. What the fuck is going on? All right, let's go.
This isn't as hard as Elisa, by the way. Like, the aiming works just about, and the puzzles are uh, not total bollocks. <laughs> Hi. It's going to run away from you. I don't really want to shoot you if I don't have to. The heart key should open this door. I guess a turning point. I won't be able to return here again. Are we ready for this? Yes. That is the end of Act 1! So it, the aiming seems to work like the old school Resident Evil, where it aims at the enemy is, but if the enemy moves, you have to re-aim again. Does that make sense? So it's not a true auto-aim. I'm sure she's fine. I'm ready. These tunnels will lead me to the surface, that's for sure. It's so dark that I'm afraid to go, but I need to move forward after what I've experienced and seen with my own eyes. I must go out and find shelter. I don't know if anybody will believe me. I can't go against the Sovereign himself. I don't believe the Sovereign's capable of such a thing. Oh, it's the same thing as what she just said. Fuck me. No, that's not save yet. I want to grab the, whatever this is. Oh, just more ammo. Okay. How could you have missed the gun? All right, so more. So there's a different type of plastomorph. Type classified. No data is available. Possible problems with overwriting the object's self-awareness. So this is probably what we are, or what she is, maybe. There's a self-aware type of plastomorph that they don't know how to deal with, it looks like. Interesting. I'd like to thank the beautiful, fantastic, wondrous... An amazing OD Chatfield for making this video possible. Thank you so much, OD Chatfield, yet again for the amazing Nomkin levels of support. Thank you so much, oh my god! Thank you so much for being a Nomkin. It really means a lot. You know who else is a Nomkin? Everyone watching this video, I guess. But the producer Alice, our producer Alice, I should say, is an amazing Nomkin. And we know, we know that because I stream with her. She makes amazing content. You should go and check her out. Her links are on screen right now. She's wonderful, beautiful, fantastic. Amazing tap dancing routine. Great voice acting too. Just brilliant. Just fantastic. Check out Alice. If you guys want to check out our Patreon, there's a link in the description. It allows us to keep making these videos. And it is so important to keeping this channel going. I can't stress that enough. Have a look. See what you think. Lots of different tiers. Lots of different rewards. Five bucks or more lets you vote and nominate on the playthroughs here. The long plays. Really would it love to see you there as a greater part of the community, guys. Anyway, here's some more plastomorphosis. I think I can say it now. Plastomorph plastomorphosis. Enjoy. Okay, it's a new day for me. I'm off stream now, playing by myself. I'm a little lost numkin. Gonna run along and do numb things. No idea where I'm going, though. This place looks pretty bum. Really enjoying this so far. Ridiculous run cycle aside, this has been really good, if challenging. Hopefully I will uh, get better at it as I go though. Hopefully I don't get totally screwed. My health is terrible right now, if you didn't know, by the way. Oh, we have a flashlight. Absolutely no idea where I'm going, by the way. Like, the camera angles here are, uh, more than a little disconcerting, to put it nicely. Hey, we finished the first chapter properly now. Formally. Oh, we've got a cutscene. I do like the dystopian feel to it. It feels nice, like it's a cool idea. It really looks like a PS1 game as well. Maybe to its detriment a bit, it's a little hard to tell what's going on, sometimes. Like, if you look at screenshots of this, you might be put off. Because it just looks a bit... I don't even know the right word, it's just a bit off. And I know PS1 games look like this, but... you got, you got to appeal to the modern gamer in a certain degree, I feel. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I love... I love the era. 
you know, it's my favorite fucking uh, era of gaming, let's be honest. Right? Like, it's like... It's, it's the thing that I like the most. Hmm. This appears to be a dead end of some description here. I'm very wary about my health at the moment. But if I, I want to try and see if I can find anything to like... I don't like anything. Anything that beeps freaks me the fuck out, I'm going to be honest with you. Beeping is bad. Oh, there's a green light over here. Let's go up here. First aid station? That sounds good. I like that. Ooh, and there's puzzles in here for sure. Broken alarm clock. Is it right twice a day? <laughs> Painkillers, water, very nice. Med kit, wow, getting a lot of heals actually here. Uh, computer the save. A jam covered bed. I think it's time to take a breath and sit for a bit on this wonderful chair. I consider lying down, but it seems like someone met a fatal end bleeding out on that bed. I guess we're gonna chill. We have a great ass. Definitely a lot in here, though. I can't tell if I meant to, like, be just like, okay, this is norm. Or, like, <laughs> you know, like... Is that an item box? I still can't believe what happened. You were definitely a mannequin, I'm sure, under that, or your faces. So it's not exactly how an evacuation must be done. How am I still alive after that? Eh! What they wanted me to be. My body can't cope. My mind is somewhere far away. It's like I'm already watching myself from the outside. My heart is bursting out of my chest. I'm somewhere out there, and yet I'm here. Am I free now? Or am I not? Look at that numkin face, oh my god. That was Eva, has she turned into the Plasto monster? How can I even say these, see these visions? Am I transforming too because of dark energy radiation? I'm scared of what can happen next. I need to get out of here and find a living person at least. This is the only way so far. Okay. We got a puzzle in here, looks like. I'm not entirely sure what the chart's for. We got an, uh, a color chart. This place is abandoned as hell, but I can't stand on my feet anymore. I need a rest, then I can move on. I saw Nexus Tower in the distance behind the big old warehouse. I guess I'm not far from the city centre. I'm sure I can find someone who will give me shelter from the horrors of anti-humanity. It's hard to believe. Is this the fate that befell the people who came to modern city? Should I even consider contacting the authorities? Soldiers of Sovereign are meant to safeguard people, not participate in acts of destruction. I'm so tired. This bed in this room looks comfy, yet I must sleep a little. I'm, I'm a little musty. A little sleep will not harm me. Is it her that put all over the bed? I guess so. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four on the wall. And then we have that there. What was the what? The, not watch. The clock we found? We found a clock, right? We did. So blue, yellow, red. Okay. So blue, yellow. Red. Hmm. Blue, yellow, red. I have absolutely no fucking clue what I'm looking at here, because there's white as well. Fuck it. Okay, I have a walkthrough up on my other screen. We're gonna use it, because this seems really fucking confusing. And like, I'm also uh, colorblind, so I don't know if that's gonna affect me here. So we're gonna cheat. It's 6824. No, no idea why. Don't really care. Got a rusty key. Got a shotgun. 
And I've got shotgun shells. We have a limited inventory in this, so I've got to be careful about what I'm carrying. Look. Is the teddy bear going to be important? We got full, oh, we got full health from resting. That's handy. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe we can come back and drop stuff if we need to. Hmm. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going at the moment, by the way, just for the record. Lock from the other side. Keep my pistol up and I don't want to use the fucking shotgun on someone, you know, who, uh... Can we go through any of this? Locked from the other side. Everything's locked from the other side. What the fuck? Something down here? And if so, what is it? These are a bunch of body bags. Lovely. Do you love me some body bags? Unusual wooden pallet. I don't like that noise. It's very, very, very... What's the right word? Discombobulating. Well, that's a big word. Where the fuck? Everything doesn't... I I don't really understand the layout of this place, I'm going to be honest with you. I've got a hammer. My inventory is going to be full soon. The table's quite spacious, making it luckily very convenient for crafting a variety of items. Huh. I guess we probably have to craft something here. Don't know what, but something. This looks like certain death. Or at least... Mild death. Absolutely no idea where I am yet again. What is this? Terminal is activated. It is coded by a red impulse. No idea what that means. I'm carrying too much stuff already. Oh dear. Oh dear. There is a lot of things here as well. Poor Lost Souls. This is a jam factory. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have to come back for this. Alright. What do I need and what don't I need is going to be the question here for managing my inventory and being able to get through in one fucking piece. It's very, 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 very confusing. Hmm. I'm gonna drop stuff in the safe room. I don't actually know if it's safe, but it's green, which I'd say is probably a net win. I'm going to be honest with you. Alright, so what don't I want right now? I'm going to drop the pistol. I didn't mean to pick it up again, and I immediately did. Great, go me. I really wish there was an item box. It would make so much more sense for an enjoyable experience. Drop that. Let's drop the bullets too, for now. Uh, we'll drop the teddy bear. And we'll drop the bat as well. Might regret doing that, but we'll see. Everything else... Actually, no, I'll drop the fucking wooden thing as well. I'll drop everything. We're just gonna drop... I gonna have, like, a fucking dropping party. Is there not enough room here to drop shit? Am I out of dropping room already? Oh my god, I am! I think I'm actually out of room to drop shit in this fucking room. Please? I guess I can't drop that? Oh yeah, I can only drop certain things. Shit. 
All right, well, I'll drop the water and keep the pain pills. All right, I'll be back in a minute, everyone, all right? You just stay there, okay? I guess I can't drop, like, key story items. Should probably, uh... Just in case. I don't really want to use a shotgun yet, but in case I come into some trouble. Uh... I've got that. Okay. Let's go down here again and grab everything that was in that dead end and bring it back. It's probably useful to do that. I've got a feeling there's going to be an excessive amount of backtracking in this section. Like, probably more than I think is okay. But we'll see. I wonder how useful the shotgun is. Alright, we need a red key card or some bollocks from there, so let's we'll leave that for now. We've got red impulse control thing. Shotgun shells box, which is actually useful because it stacks up. Viewing last unsent unscripted message. Who the hell coded the power equipment terminal last time? I don't have the UX to unlock the terminal anymore. I already sent a request to the Citizen Defense Bureau to recharge all UE keys with Reese's dark energy pulses, but still nothing from them yet. Installing new equipment utilizes resources can be quite the headache. I always have to apply the correct impulse first to the UEK and then utilize it with the terminal as stipulated in the protocol. Heck, this looks like it's the reserve UEK is somewhere in the old warehouse on the other side of the territory, but there's no time for this. Our squad should urgently go to another community block to install new equipment. Jeez, I won't be promoted again. I'm eternal servant. I mean, soldier of sovereign. End of message. Give me like poor lost souls, blah, blah, blah. What's this? Unusual wooden pallet again. We're getting a lot of unusual wooden pallets, I'm going to be honest with you. This still goes on. The hatch is locked from the side. Maybe it has an auto-close mechanism that prevents access from the outside? And some kind of puzzle here. The data tunnels are unresponsive to my input. I'm curious about where these wires lead. It's possible they supply power to the tunnels, which could explain why it's currently disabled. Okay. Does the red thing I find go in here? It's worth a shot, right? Ah, oh, no. So I need a key to apply it to, and I don't have that key at the moment. Got it. That's fine. Just want to make sure I've got everything from here. But I think I do for now. I think I've got to craft something now. The question is, what do I need to craft on that crafting table, which is just here? Uh, plank number one. Plank number two. Nope. Okay. Oh, do I... Table's quite spacious. Okay, I get that. I understand that that premise. Uh, put it here. Yes. Hmm. Now what do I do, though? Hmm. Do I need one more? Well, they can sit on the table anyway, so that's fine. We still have a gate key. We haven't used to unlock a gate yet, so let's see what we can do with that. We watch, you serve. Gate's locked. Oh, it could be for this key, finally. Yes. I'm prepared for some unpleasant enemies. Like, there was that note we found that talked about the unknown kinds of enemies that they didn't know how to like control or whatever. Not just the male or female variants, there's like mutations it seems and things like that. What's this? Activate it? Oh shit. This shit again. I, I really don't like these by the way, I think they're... I'm gonna be honest, I think they're just a terrible puzzle. Like I just don't think they're particularly fun. Uh... Uh, especially the speed these go at, it just seems completely unreasonable, I'm going to be honest with you, to expect the player to do it in the time, in, 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 in what you're looking at, you know? 
Like, it's going... S I'll, I'll be back in a minute. I, this, this, this shit sucks. It's just terrible. There we go. Took a bit of time, but did it. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like an enemy, maybe? Gates locked from the side. There's lots of gates locked from the other side in this area. But yeah, I really don't like those. Uh, hi! I see you! What the fuck are you? There's a pit with some sort of different trash. I can get through here. I have to think of what I can do to overcome this obstacle. Okay. Uh, we need to get this other plank here. And then go and make, like, a plank to get across the hole, I'm gonna guess here. There's definitely enemies on the other side, though. I can see them fucking around. Not entirely sure what I turned back on, but at least I solved that puzzle then and there. God, I fucking hate them. Like, if it was if it was just, like, always on screen, like those puzzles normally are, it wouldn't be so bad, but because it scrolls through, it makes it very fiddly. I'm not really an enjoyable experience. Um, every little sound in this makes me worry there's something coming for me, because you can get so fucked so quickly by the enemies in this game. Like, they do a ton of damage. Alright, so there's that. Alright, now if we use the hammer, maybe? Yeah. Homemade plank. Alright, what do we have in our inventory at the moment? The homemade plank we're about to use. Do I want the teddy bear? Probably should save. I feel like I hadn't saved this entire time, I don't think. Okay, I've got a full inventory, but I do have everything. I'm about to use the plank. So, fingers crossed this works out. Alright, we've saved the game. Let's go back and see if we can cross the gap. Now, the biggest problem I'm going to have, right, is <laughs> I believe there's a randomly generated puzzle coming up according to this walkthrough with colours, which means I probably, I don't know if I can solve it, because if it's randomly generated um, and I can't see the colour, it's a bit of a bugger, I'm going to be honest with you. Indie devs, stop putting colour-based puzzles in your games. Just stop it. Unless you can afford to implement a colourblind mode, don't do it. I actually have room for everything still. I have room for three items now. So I think I'm pretty optimistic, actually. This is going to be alright. There is a thing here, though. I don't really know where I'm going right now, by the way. Alright, we have a safe here. What did I just do? Okay, so we have... I can tell that's a red radiation symbol. It's an old safe that's quite massive and can contain something useful. Striping a combination to the safe lock. It can turn the lock dial left or right. But I must confirm the current combination value before moving on to then picking up the next one. The problem with safes, right, in video games, is they're always shit. Because they're never... 
they're never, they, they never have like a universal thing, so you never really know how they work. You know, you never know how they work. I think I fucked that up, by the way. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I did. <sighs> okay. Alright, I got the safe open using the walkthrough because I don't think I can solve this otherwise coherently. So now I'm in the safe, take a closer look. Yes, we got a club's key, okay. Hmm. Alright, let's see what's this way. Well, almost killed me in a single hit. Oh, that's not true, it didn't. It took off half my health. But they seem to be very heavy duty, these robots. So let's be careful. Got a 9mm clip. Handy. Okay, we got blue with the sun. Red radioactive, blue sun. We got a relink tablet. And another one of these levers. I think we have to pull all four of these. Now I do apologise for cheating occasionally, but if it involves colours, it's just not really feasible for me to do. Okay, water bottle. That is actually useful. God, all these gates are locked from the sub. Why can't? Why didn't I take? What the fuck is that? Another water bottle? Oh, two water bottles. That's actually kind of useful. Might as well top myself up a little bit, because there definitely seems to be more of the fucking robots around. Did I miss something over here? Or is it just the way the light is shining? I think it's just the way the light is shining. Okay, so anyway, red, radioactive, blue sun. I recognise those colours, so it depends. I guess it depends on the colours. I think it's dead, otherwise I'd be dead. And I don't think it hit me this time. Excellent. That's what we like to see. That's what we love to see. Dead fucking robots. Oh. So it's for this? Alright. And a uh, pink or purpley radioactive here. There's also a side point, which is handy. Electronic key for something. Shotgun shells. I can use this laptop. Hell yeah. Actual progress. Excellent. Uh, this is a new version of the Plastomorph that comes from the spent material of Plastomorph type mannequin and the non combat body shell of the Stalker. Used for guarding and surveillance as well as clearing up minor commotion. Doesn't need incentivized rewards or net control devices. Has minimal nutritional reminds. Runs out of service life quickly. I guess that's what we've seen outside. Alright, so we have one more lever to pull, I think. Attention all citizens, defense units. The trial of society elements has been temporarily disabled in this sector. This area. What the hell? Death penalty? I'm not some kind of criminal. I just want to get free. I need to focus. We take shit remarkably well. This is just back to where we were. Is she looking at the helicopter? Oh, that's a problem. I mean, I just saved, so it's not actually that big a problem, but still. Okay, we have a QR code and that just vanished when I used it. And a button, that, a keypad I don't know the code to.
Jesus, that scared the fuck out of me, I'm gonna be honest with you. But at least he's dead. A little bit worried about the prevalence of enemies around here now. Especially worried that they might be respawning. Okay, and we have green... Is that green or yellow? Fuck, I don't know. This is where I would have stuck. Look, green and yellow I have trouble with. Okay, and that's a shortcut back to there. Hmm. One sec, guys. Okay, I think we're done with this side. I think we need to do the levers on the other side now. I might have to come back here to double check. Oh, fuck me. We're slow, we're slow, we're slow, we're so slow. Will he follow me through the area? Curious if he does. I guess that's a no. Fuck. What a little dickhead. Alright, I now have the... In my inventory, I have this. If I combine this with this... No. If I combine this with that, it makes it red, and I can use it on that key thing on the other side. Can I change the colours here or not? Okay, I've got to be our way of changing those colours, right? I don't fucking know. I don't know, I've no idea what I'm doing. Let's just go the other way for now and use the red on the red. Actually scared the shit out of me, that. So this area isn't safe anymore. How am I doing for shotgun shells? Not good! Probably should go back to this. Although if I come across any of the little robot guys, I am totally fucking dead. Because they take two shotgun shells, and I've got two shotgun shells left. Maybe this area is still temporarily safe? Maybe? Alright, so. Hang on, where's the red shit? It's going to turn off the power so we can climb the ladder, I'm going to guess. Red impulse use. Okay, good. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, sure, no worries, I'll do that. Why don't they just shoot me? This is some dystopian future. Why am I, why am I not just dead? They could just take me out! Oh, the ladder. I can't go. I'm not going back that way, apparently. Great. Excellent. We got this. Oh, thank fuck for that. What is that? A rust. I'm dead. I hear the big guy. Okay, so these guys actually die really easy to pistols and I shouldn't waste bullets on them. I'm carrying some- fuck, 
We've got to drop stuff here. It's all right. We can save our game here at least, so that's a good position to be in. Because I'm actually pretty healthy at least at the moment. Um, what should I drop? I'll drop the shovel for now. Hmm. I'm going to need all of these. Like, managing my inventory here is going to be absolutely fucking insane. I guess I should probably actually drop the doll and take the shovel in case I can find shit with it. Rust-covered shovel. What don't I need? Hmm. Oh, this looks useful as fuck! I'll drop my warders here, I guess. Don't need those. Absolutely no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm glad I dropped the border instead of the paint. Is there something... What the fuck is this? I hear bumpkins. Was that a big guy or a little guy? It's a little guy! Lots of water. The blue thingy. Displaying public message. There was some malfunction in the transformation equipment. I don't know what to do. We need to provide a proof to avoid antisocial punishment. I just placed the proofs on the work table near the entrance of the territory. I love the scientists at Nexus Tower can conduct tests in their own and so the squad won't be held responsible for any lapses in our duties. End of message. There's another water there. I want the water. I know I dropped a bunch of water a minute ago, but then I can just drink these and max out my health without having to worry. Makes sense, right? So that's blue done. We need to find the rest, obviously. I'm guessing there'll be a shortcut back to the beginning. I hear bumpkins. That was lucky. Alright, so another one of those done. Fuck you. Okay, they don't do much damage. I'm hoping this loops around a bit. What is this? I need a special key to unlock this unusual lock. God, they're so fucking loud, these fuckers. I do say, I don't think the monster designs are amazing, but they're okay. Like, as a concept, I think they're pretty decent. Displaying pu uh, public message. What well, the hell are these message codes popping up over the place? There's some kind of message encrypted in them, but I really can't process it. My only option is to overwrite the message on top of the old one. Any soldier or sovereign who comes across these codes on the wall should take it upon themselves to replace them. We must ensure the Bureau doesn't discover this, as it could result in fines or charges for antisocial activity against the squad. We've already fallen behind schedule in installing the equipment. End of message. Displaying advertising message. Lovely. I do want a nice, refreshing Coke. 
Thing is, I'm dead if I come across the big boys now. What is this camera angle choice here? Like, it's terrible. Okay, I can hear a big boy. I'm gonna try this. Oh shit, you can dig these up. What do we get? Shotgun shell, shotgun shell, sh obscure key. Great. An inventory filling item that I really didn't want at this point in time. Oh, it's, there's shotgun shells there too and I can't fucking take them. Oh my god, that's so annoying. God, I fucking hate inventory management shit. Alright, we're gonna... I don't really know what to do, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just gonna do that, I guess. Hang on, what happened to the shotgun shells? Did you take the other thing instead of the thing I wanted you to take? Or did it just get wasted? Oh no. I think it just got wasted. The door's definitely locked by someone. I can't help but wonder if anyone inhabited this place or to put it differently, attempted to endure here. I think I wasted the bullets, which is not great. Especially as I really needed those shotgun shells to have a chance here at fucking survival. I'm gonna save. That way it's definitely got these super robots. There's other dig spots and stuff, but the problem is, like, my inventory is just fucking full. Full of literally piles of crap that I can't use. I mean, I guess it's better than picking the team. There's something else there, what? Two 9mm clips, I mean that's useful, I will say, I can't pretend that that's not useful. Guessing we need the obscure key to get out. Did I even hit it? I'll be back when I figure out the best approach to attacking these things, because we're really low on ammo and everything at the moment. Like, we're properly fucked. Okay, so I used the obscure key to open the hole in the floor. I think this is just going to take me back out to the other side, so I'm going to leave it for now, but I just wanted to put this in here to show that, you know, I did it. I did this. Still haven't got past the killer robots or found any more shotgun shells, but I did do this bit, okay? I'm proud of me. We have wasted a lot of shotgun shells, I will say. My plan is to try and take out the robot with the shot we're shooting now, because I've just been everywhere and I haven't found any more fucking shotgun shells, so I think I'm gonna have to just try and kill the robot with a fucking pistol. Oh, we haven't been down here yet, either. Sounds bad. I don't even know if I'm hitting them, it's, it feels like I am. Okay, I did kill it. That's one down. We're getting more room in our inventory again at the moment. I'm optimistic. Oh, thank fuck for that. Any more? No, but I will fucking take that. It's gonna make killing things a lot easier. We'll go back and slurp down some drinks in a minute. Guzzle. This back here? Okay, we've done this bit. We cleared out this bit. But there was one of those things that we need to get rid of anyway, so that's good. I think we need two more keys. To be able to progress correctly. That went pretty well. I think that's everything here. Which means there's got to be more keys, right? We found well, we found the red and blue ones so far. But... Hmm. Oh! Can we use red and blue to make the colour combinations on the wall? 
Is that what it is? Because we only need the red and blue, right? So, ah, uh, yeah, because there was a color combination fucking thing in the fucking room. All right, let's grab all the shit we've got here, save, and then head back. I think I think we've got everything we need here. I got I closed all the lab. Oh, there's a door here. Shit, I didn't see this. Oh. For a minute, I was moistened. Not too moistened anymore. Dry as a bone, in fact. All right, that's good though, because we've now opened the basement for the way back. And I can head up here, grab the items we got left, heal up, and I'd still have some shotgun shells and stuff. If there's a boss in this level, I am worried that I'm just boned. Because this is the sort of game I can imagine having some pretty bad soft locks, but we'll see. A lot of games lately having softlocks, by the way, like the possibility of backing yourself into... Shouldn't be possible under any circumstances to back yourself into a corner when you uh, can't, like, progress, you know what I mean? Um, there shouldn't be any way that you can run out of resources enough unless you just stand there and do nothing. that you need to replace significant chunks of the game. I'm not saying this game has done it yet, but I could, I get a feeling it could. All right, so we got everything out of there that we had. Wouldn't be surprised if there's bumpkins down here, I'm gonna be honest with you. Looks pretty shit. I think that's a nice term for, uh, for this place. I don't hear anything, but that doesn't mean anything. Ah, how's it going? You got anything for me? No? Okay. You're beautiful. We love you. Mwah. I'm gonna make the assumption there's only the crap ones up here. Which I might regret. Oh, what is this shit? Oh! I can either document the terminal response or endeavor to memorize it. How many times did the terminal generate a response? One? Okay. Red one. Green three? There isn't a three. Four, I guess? Okay. Okay, purple. Okay, so purple... Seven. Green again. Oh, green again. This must be yellow. If that happens. Oh, maybe they're the other way around. Fuck. Well, we know because it said. I think it's right. I think it said it was right. So that's and that's two. Okay. I think. Oh, I got a trophy. So I'm assuming that's correct. Excellent. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Excellent. Let's go. Now we need to go back to the main hub area. Just realized I can't remember any of these fucking colors. Excellent. Pretty sure this one was red, so let's try that. Okay. 
I'm gonna need to go and look which one's which again, because I can't remember. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back here. I just want to say, color puzzles suck. This whole puzzle, I solved the first half of it here. It's just terrible. It's... I cut out a lot of me ranting, and I'll try and be as rational as I can be here, okay? This is the wrong thing, by the way. Um, this puzzle, first of all, using color, don't, ever, in video games anymore. It's 2024. You shouldn't, shouldn't need to do that, okay? Uh, secondly, you can obviously use color, but you know, you know what I mean. Don't do color-based puzzles in 2024, unless you can afford to put in a colorblind mode. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, I've already forgotten what the other fucking colour was here. I think it's green. Uh, secondly, um, uh, this puzzle seemed to be broken. I had to watch multiple videos to get an idea of what was happening. Like, I, it's hard to describe, but it, it, it's just a... It's just, I'm going to be honest with you, it just feels like a mess. I would say this is the least favourite puzzle that I've played in the video game for many, for many years. That that bad. This took... We're talking like 30 minutes of just fucking around with these fucking stupid screens. That I can barely fucking tell the difference apart anyway. Oh god, let's move on. I'll try and enjoy the rest of it, because this was... Doors unlocked allow me to enter the warehouse. I have a sense that I should prepare myself as I'm certain of what awaits me inside. We'll, uh, we'll save game. Oh, a save point. Now that's nice. I like that. That's nice. Okay. We might not be good here, okay? We're having a boss fight, I think. But there is ammo in the room, so that's a good start. I finally found someone alive. This looks shit, doesn't it? Oh, he falls over. Uh, I guess we should pull this lever, probably. He's lying right in the middle of the fucking thing. Might be on a bit of a cool down the lever, unfortunately for me, though. Oh, there's heals and stuff in here. That's nice. Isn't it? I'm guessing if he hits me, I'm probably in real shit. Fall over. Hey, thank you. And again, can we hit? Are you fucking? That's bullshit. He was fucking on it. Absolute bullshit. And I'm dead. I'm triggered. Uh, this level has done nothing but trigger me. It has some of the worst tropes of video games in it. One hit kills? Fuck off. Okay? That's not one hit kill. What? Why even have the animation then? Knocking him down exactly on this is going to be the biggest load of bullshit. Yeah, I don't need to see this every time. I'm already... My OCD is already fucking triggered by this, and I've only seen it once. <laughs> I just died. Oh no, I didn't. All right, if this doesn't work, I'm I'm, I'm fucking I'm I'm, give, I'm gonna just reload. Pull it. I didn't count. I hit that like at a good speed as well. It's such bullshit. God, just. Oh. I'm trying not to be so negative, but this game has gone from a 9 to a 4 in one level. That's how much I dislike this section so much. One of the worst I've seen in a long time in a video game. Like, it's actually shockingly bad. We go to... we go from good, but challenging first boss, to one hit kill bullshit fucking second boss. Two hit kill bullshit second boss with a stupid fucking stun mechanic that I'm going to have to fucking dodge it for like 20 minutes to fucking avoid. Uh, and just, yeah, just loads of bollocks. Uh, 
I'm gonna be honest with you, the puzzles what really tricked me. Okay, we hit him twice. It's a record. Do another lap. Don't know if it's getting faster. Okay. I'm less annoyed now. That is some fucking bullshit fuck. Do I have to say this fucking every time, by the way? It was cool the first time. Have it as a death animation, and then never show it again. He's solid on the floor. Excellent. Kill him. Yes! Dead? Please be dead. Please be fucking dead. Oh, thank fuck. Thank fuck. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Easier than the first boss in the end. I'm just feeling bitchy after that fucking awful puzzle. Some recruits from Soldiers of Sovereign, Flasmorphs type stalker, can suddenly change their behaviour. Nexus Tower scientists are still investigating possibly causes for this anomaly. Behaviour can change to the point of frenzy with aggression. Report any of these occurrences to the Bureau. Failure to comply is criminalised as suspended antisocial activity. Okay. I shouldn't be too mean. They gave us a save point outside, which was very nice. Don't like that animation more than once, but that's because of ADHD and having to see something more than once triggers the fuck out of me. Um... Overall, while that puzzle wasted 30 minutes of my time and I hated it, the core components of the level were okay. But the first level, significantly better than this one. I genuinely really liked the first level. This one, very mid. But we did do it. And we got a save again. The saves are very reasonably placed, actually. Every time there's like a boss fight, there's a save just before it in a reasonable place so far. The only reason I had to re backtrack on the first boss fight is I didn't use the save like a complete dickhead. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Big progress. Doing good. Next level, I think, we're probably on now. This is like a person, maybe? Child in a gas mask? Cockney yeah, orphan? Yeah, I thought so. Guess we're gonna be following the child, which is probably a... A really fucking awful idea. Was that boy also at the Metro District Station? He does seem a bit strange. I should consider accompanying him and locating the authorities. It's not safe to wander alone in the area. They wanna kill you! They just wanna, they just wanna fucking kill you! Alright. Hopefully there's something interesting over this bridge, but I think we are done with the second level finally. Which say finally. If it if it wasn't for that puzzle, this level would have been a fine length. But that puzzle again really, really pissed me off. Hey there, finally I found someone. So there we are. Oh shit, they're talking. They've got a voice acting. Is our head turned into plastic? Is that what's meant to have happened? I witnessed them myself in Manchester Escape. They're created at the metro station. That much I can affirm. What the heck? What are you saying? Wait, let me explain. Yeah, I don't think trusting these guys was a good idea. To blow up the bridge. Yep. Wasn't the best idea, was it really? Let's be honest. Oh, I'm first person. Am I dead now? 
We're in underwater plastic hell, by the looks of things. This is what all the oceans are like, really, at the moment. Yeah, this one, this is cool. Like, I like, I like these bits, and I like the effects. And the game does feel survivally without being crazy difficult. This is unbearable. I can't breathe. I think we're fine. It's probably not a big deal. Oh shit, we're waking up somewhere. Where the fuck are we? Did someone save us? Am I dreaming? We're definitely injured. Where in the world am I right now? I'm completely unsure of my whereabouts in this place. It radiates a distinctly grim ambience. I ought to investigate and figure out what's going on. Okay. Got some big scissors. I have no- oh, my inventory's been cleared out pretty much. Interesting. It won't budge. It's gonna be like an escape from this. Play with a pin password lock. Enter the access code in the keypad? No, because I've no idea what it is at the moment. But thank you for asking. That was nice of you. Oh, you got a jam room. Gosh, my head is in pain. I really need to have some medication. Okay, that's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it'll do. It's so the telephone I'm uncertain about who I could call, or even if it's functional. We'll leave it for now, because I don't have a phone number. What is this? Blood has filled the bathroom. I know it's uncertain. I understand something lying at the floor. Oh, lying at the body. Oh, it's a body. It's an evidence bag. Can we cut it open? Yes, we can. We've got a VHS cassette tape. I'm assuming there's like a video player somewhere here. Uh, all the shit that I got, I, I, I rationed, was actually a waste of time, I just realised, because all my shit's gone. God damn it. Alright. That, that was a... Oh, let's watch it. Let's just watch it. VHS cassette. Okay. Looks a bit... Looks like an actual cassette tape rather than a VHS, which is slightly different, but still. Yes, watch it. Yes. Three four two eight six nine. I'm guessing that's a phone number. Alright. Praise be to the sovereign. Alright, call the number while I remember. Use. Three, four, two, eight, six, nine. I love this school riddle immensely. Hi, Eva. It proved to be such a challenge that our entire class, despite dedicating an entire hour to it, couldn't find a solution. I'm uncertain if my words are resonating with you, but perhaps this enigma will engage your mind and help you grasp the situation. Now let's dive into the riddle. Pay close attention. Four digits hidden from sight. A mystery, a riddle in the shroud of the night. Decipher their meaning, the key to the door, to enter a realm never seen before. The digit that doubles itself with grace. In Fibonacci's order, it finds its place. The first of all odd, a renowned start. Its square and square root, a work of art. Unlock the door with these clues in mind, the path to new reality you'll find. A mysterious unveiled, an adventure begun, in this enigmatic journey we become one. I think each line of the verse means a number code, and I generally hope I'm not mistaken. The digit that re doubles itself, the digit that represents the position of the previous digit in the Fibonacci sequence, the first odd number, the square and square root of the digit is the same thing. So it's going to be 1-1 one, one at the end, I know that. 
Two and four? Two, four, one, one? I actually might know this. And it's not because I'm good at maths, because I've memorized some things from previous games that I've played. Two, four, one, one. Please be right. Yay! All right, oh, we're in the office area now. Excellent. What's this? Something on the table, take a closer look, sure. Tarot card puzzle, excellent. I fucking hate these. Um, <laughs> All right, I don't like the fucking shit everywhere here as well. Okay, okay. Let's have a look around before we do anything else here, okay? It's a guest book of a proto-world motel, a rather peculiar name. The pages are smudged with bloodstains, making the text nearly illegible. However, one entry can still be read. The Supreme One, as he has referred to himself a while ago, upon reopening the Grand Portal at the top of the Nexus Tower, through the dark energy of Reesers, flows again. Clutch chose to adopt the title Supreme Sovereign, or simply the Sovereign for short. This was to ensure that everyone on the continent, particularly in modern city, recognized the one who wielded the ultimate power of the universe. Alright, there's a locked door over there with an eyeball on it. We've got some music boxes. This is probably for the tarot puzzle. So the tower... And we got it rotating clockwise. That's important. Okay. Yeah, anti-clockwise with death. Oh god, this is gonna suck, isn't it? It's gonna absolutely suck. Hmm. What's that meant to be? Uh, maybe it's a code. Three... Oh, there's 352? With the three handprints? It says a code here. Let's try 352. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, definitely in Silent Hill type area here. Oh. It's upside down? Would that be right? But what would we need... Which ones would it be? Just the missing ones? I need old projector film reel to activate this, okay. I can't, whatever that is on the wall, I can't interact with it, whatever it is, but there's a projector there. We got a code here. Okay, so is it just the ones that are missing? So that'd be four. No, but how would I know the order? Yeah, I don't understand the order exactly here. Well, not at all even, actually. Nothing else in here? Oh, there's a book. What is this? The manual with instructions operating the music box. Several pages are missing. A fragment remains. Use buttons like this to control the toy. Align your desired speed and direction with the eyes. So the speed of the turning is as well. So the number of arrows displayed in the button image increases, then the speed at which the toy spins also escalates. Unfortunately, the rest of the text is obscured by bloodstains, making it unreasonable. Unreadable? I feel like I'm missing something really important in this room. Because how would I know, right? There's a door? It won't budge. And there's just this thing here. I'll just double check out here again. I didn't miss something, but mm, I'm not optimistic. The book contains what remains legible. Certain lines have been emphasized. In the riddle game, cards in hand we wield. To open doors where hope and joy are concealed. An arrow's guide, speed and direction unite. In melodies we follow to find our heart's delight. Cards in a row, a riddle to embrace. At the bottom, turning directions finds its place. In the top row, tarot holds the key. A game of cards where mysteries break free. I've got, I've got to say, right? I fucking, I think, I think the difficulty of the puzzles in this game is is verging on the insane like absolutely crazy crazy complicated puzzles like not fun complicated puzzles either like uh i i am not not a fan of these puzzles 
But I'm more concerned about where the fuck I'm meant to put the fucking... Well, how do we... How do I know, right? What pillows are for the co... Oh, maybe it's the way that they're facing. I don't know. Well, we'll have a look again. I have no idea. I'm going to have to look this up. Let's have a look. It is 4519. No idea why. Can't find anything to indicate why that is. Kind of given up on the puzzles at this point. I'm going to be honest with you. They seem insane. Another music box. Which one's this? Oh, let's take the film first. I can see the film. Uh, this is, I guess, the globe. The world, sorry. And it's very fast turning clockwise. I'm so glad there's a walkthrough for this. Or, uh, okay, stop looking at the music box and pick up the fucking film. Thank you. Alright, let's go and watch the film. Hopefully this will make sense of something. Yes. Death Hermit Tower... We're going to figure out the display. What's the first image and what does it symbolise? Uh, death. Okay, it's like an image of a hermit. I can do this. Tower. And then the world. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. That 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 made sense. I understand that. I'm still trying to find out where I would have got the code from for this fucking thing, but I I, I just can't see it anywhere in this room, or the other room. Well, whatever. Um, let's look at the, uh, the tarot here. Okay, so... So it's gonna be death. Uh... Hermit. Tower. And world. Okay, good. Then... We need to mark these as the way they look. Okay, actually, this isn't anywhere near as complicated as it sounds. That riddle made it sound way more complicated than it is. I made notes of these. This is not bad at all. Still don't know how we went to do the other one, but that's fine. That's correct. Okay, that was not that bad. We managed. We did it. Hello, plastic person. Please don't be a boss fight. I don't have any weapons. Oh, I think we finished the chapter, I want to say. Oh, hi. Lister, I've been monitoring our guests closely. Their mind has conjured a new reality to shield them, drawing on the Reeser's dark energy. I guess that's what's happened to us. It's both fascinating and concerning. So what's the plan? How do we guide them through this self-created maze? How dangerous is it for them in there? The risk is significant. The challenge lies in the obstacles to find erected within this altered reality. This is rare that someone who absorbed so much Rasur's dark energy can create a safe space. Yet it is possible to do so. Such places called proto worlds. They seem to be born from the depths of the mind. As if a wish has materialized into a new reality. This is not good. If only Jesse was here. She was a true expert at RAEA. It's alright. We have a chance to save them. I'll try to. I'll try to create a direct link between us. I'll guide them. Gently nudging them towards self-realization, without disrupting the delicate balance of the constructed reality. All right, keep me updated on the progress. A and Ava? Yes? Take care of them. They're no longer just ordinary citizens. Noble citizen. If they survive this, they'll become our ally against the Sovereign itself. Just as you're doing now, Ava. I understand. I'll proceed with caution and care.
Alright, we've got a flare gun. Okay. Oh. This is madness. What is this place? And there's conversation on the radio device. This can't be real. This can't be real. This can't be real. I need to focus. I like the way that when you're like freaking out, your character kind of talks to themselves a bit. I don't care about the bike. I just want to look at the fucking medkit on it. No. Not the bike. The medkit. That is one of my fucking biggest pet peeves about this game, right? Is getting it to look at shit. Sometimes so fiddly, it's insane. Alright. Full health. Okay. There is jam everywhere here. I should probably equip this too, right? Oh, use it. Okay, so we have infinite ammo for the gun. Assuming this actually kills stuff anyway. I don't know if it does. Is there any save points here? I'm a little worried about the lack of save points here. I will say that. And by that, I mean there hasn't been one for a while. And I think I didn't use one in the hotel, which uh, could prove to be really, really fucking awful. Stepping in the jam, bad. Not stepping in the jam, good. Got it. I guess this is either guiding us, right? I think it's meant to be anyway. I'm coming as best I can, but I'm stuck in the jam, so it's a bit hard to gauge. I don't know there's too much of this left, which makes me a little concerned for, like, everything <laughs> in terms of an ending to the game. A save point! Oh my god! This is the best day of my entire life! I'm dreading the final boss. Because there's gonna be one, surely, right? We've had two boss fights, like... Gotta have more. Okay. Hmm, enemies up ahead. At least I think so. Definitely is. Can you shoot it, please? I can't actually fucking move right now. I think it's dead. Okay. Enemy's bad. Nomkin's good. Wow, there's a lot of enemies around. There's a long reload time on this gun as well. I mean, it does have infinite ammo there, so I can't be too mean. I can't tell if there's three enemies, or that was the same one just getting up three times. Gotta be real. Please die. The brightness on this is off the fucking... Just off the fucking charts. Alright, pills. Good. We need those. Shit, what the fuck is this? Okay, so Shadow SD at the bottom. So it'd be five. I've no idea. <laughs> SH is five. Okay. AD is three. OW is seven. And SD is six. So five, three, seven, six is probably a code to something somewhere. I think is that how that works. Could be wrong. But I'm going to make the assumption that I'm not. Okay, this is probably bad. Five three seven six is correct. Hey, I actually solved the puzzle. Hooray! Leather, please. 
There's a kill switch. Sure. Why not? Uh, we need to move. Oh my god. There's so many. This is bullshit! If I die here and have to do this again, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. The thing is, half the time that I miss, because the aiming is fucking awful. There was a lot more enemies than this. Are they all coming? Okay, well, we killed most of them. I think. I think! I'm gonna head back and save so I don't have to deal with that shit again, because fucking hell, that was bollocks. Yeah, I'm very jammy right now. There's definitely some shadow monsters alive as well. Alright. I mean, if I don't have to kill him, I don't have to kill him, but I think I probably do have to kill them all, unfortunately for me, to get to somewhere. I don't know what that did, pulling the lever. I'm guessing turn off an electric fence or some shit. That was almost my death. Sneaky ambush. There's something running around up there that's pretty fucking big, I just noticed as well. I'm not entirely sure what, but it sucks, whatever it is. Gonna be monsters here, right? Is this even gonna be the right way? Oh my god. Can't see what's going on. Just sort of randomly shooting and hoping for the best. Because this is, uh... Terrible fucking camera angle. Okay. I think we're okay. I just made the assumption everything was fine there. And it somehow worked out. Definitely another one up here. Fuck you. I missed my shotgun. It was really fucking useful. What the fuck is this? Oh, is that a buzzsaw? It looks like it, huh? What is this? Something good? Oh, I thought there was a fucking light there. That's the buzzsaw from the other side. Holy shit, we have to go this way. Is it just the middle? Oh, I wonder if these were all active before, and now only one is active. Could be. Move instead of reloading, you stupid bitch! Get fucked. Alright, we have a hideous scarecrow here. And I think another shadow person? I, I can't see shit right now. I'm going to assume that the Scarecrow is off limits. God, this is just a lot of running and shooting at the moment. I'm not a fan. Now right, we've got loads of hands blocking the way there. A lot of running and shooting. Lots of fucking slow movement shit as well, which is really annoying. Dead Scarecrow is having a nap. Don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just kind of winging it at the moment. Okay, we found something at least. Rusty gate key? Okay, that's probably good. I 
All right, we found a key. Fantastic. Don't know where it goes, but we did find a key. Huzzah. Yeah, the teleporting when you get shot, super annoying. Uh, game. I shot that thing three fucking times there, and nothing. NOTHING! It's alright, we found the fucking key. Just gotta last long enough here. God, the aiming. Please. Please. I can't even tell if it's coming for me. Get fucked. Okay, we're killing shit, looking for a lock gate for the gate key. Excellent, love it. This looks promising, this looks like it could be a lock gate that we can progress through. It is! Alright, the way to go. I'm coming. Oh lord, she coming. Oh lord, she coming! Okay, more hands. I'm guessing don't go near the hands. Might have to go near the hands. Hmm. What does that mean? What does her mean? What is it? I cannot see shit. Oh, can I cut it with the scissors? Why do I still have the scissors? When did I find the scissors? Did I find them on the- Why is that carried across in my inventory? Oh, it's police tape! The shadow on it was so fucking dark I couldn't tell! But anyway, we finished the- we finished this bit. A save point, excellent. Excellent, excellent. I really hope this isn't all the last world is, just wandering through cornfields, shooting shadow people. But I've got a horrible feeling it's gonna be. <sighs> yep, definitely is. Excellent. Almost bullshit, but we got away with- the, the bullshit was evaded. Bullshit evaded successfully. I don't know if that lights to indicate something, or just, it's just sort of there. Lack of healing items in this level, by the way. This is going to loop round, right, and go back towards those things. Alright, we've got two buzz saws here. Oh my god, just shoot the fucking thing. Thank you. Or not. Why bother? Why bother at all? Oh my god. The fucking leaf is going to fucking kill me! Oh my god. Fuck off. Good. Good! Alright. Problem is, right, I've no idea if this was... I think this is looping round to where we were. Probably. But I don't know. I hate this shit. This shit? Super obnoxious. Needs to fuck off. Yeah, I'm back at the start. I want to say I'm back at the start. I don't actually know if I'm back at the start. I think I am. This should go to the save point again, right? Hang on, but wasn't I... I I'm so fucking lost. Where does this go? Back to where we were? 
I, I genuinely don't know anymore what is happening or where I am or what I'm meant to be doing. I feel like the level design has gone from excellent in the subway to just pretty crap by this point. Like, I just don't like. The second level, all right. The puzzle sucks, but all right, level design itself, fine. This, this is terrible. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just not fun. Just fighting the same guy again and again and again. Three shots, back away, run away, three shots. What is this? We found something at least. Hammer, crowbar, saw, axe. Okay. Don't know what that means, but we'll go with it. Oh, we've got some heals. Following the quiet years post-crisis and the regulation of research through the provision of a special PDA wearable device for each citizen in Modern City, RAEA was disbanded. However, a more calamitous event struck Modern City sometime later, once again linked to research and specifically to the dark energy source housed within the Nexus Tower. Hordes of monstrosities began descending upon the city in the Nexus Tower, appearing through the emerge from the depths of hell, later to be called Underworld itself. The source of research was stolen or rather absorbed by an unknowable figure resembling a sorcerer in a cloak as described as by the Supreme One. Despite the loss of research and ideal energy sources, the Supreme One remained resolute and began seeking alternative energy sources, albeit with no success. After nine years of experimentation, the portal was reopened and the crucial dark energy source of modern city research began emanating once more. However, this marked a turning point. The Supreme One declared himself as the ruler, initiating a new era on the continent, the Age of Research Utopia, yet it spiralled into a true dystopia for everyone involved. Some individuals weren't content with this situation, thus a covert group emerged calling themselves Removers. This marked the inception of the real confrontation between government of the Sovereign and the people of the continent and its cities. Alright, we healed up. Is this a path here, or...? It is. I'm not sure where to, though. Like, everything kind of looks the same. Well, everything does look the same, let's be honest. Oh, okay. Uh, we're back at this bit. So there was a path here. I'm guessing the saws are where we need to go, but... <laughs> like, the chances of surviving it? Don't seem too high, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, no, there's something here. More shadow people? Wow! I love them. More shooting at nothing? I love it! One, two, three. This is going to be some clues for that puzzle, I think. Hmm. No, no, look at it again. Oh my god! Don't give me a 10 minute animation! Look at it! Alright. I guess it's number of things. So the code's going to be four, two, five, one. Okay. Alright. That's not too bad. And that's going to turn off the things again. Probably going to get attacked, I'm going to guess, as soon as I do this. Four. Two. Five. One. Like, this is going to really suck again, right? So guys, trying to remain calm here. I've been doing this for 30 minutes. Um, it feels completely broken. I can't get away from them. I can't shoot them. Nothing works, uh, essentially. Uh, the ambush is in such a tight spot that I can't get around them. I have had, as it stands, nine tries at this. Um, I, 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 I can't recommend the game because of this sequence, which is a shame because it's not terrible. But this sequence, it feels game-breaking. I just can't get away. Maybe I will eventually get away at some point. I'm dead, I think. Oh no, I got through! Oh my god, that's the first time I have ever got through. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because it's just bollocks. The combat sucks, and it put you in a situation where it's almost impossible to fucking survive.
and the aiming. Don't get me fucking started on the fucking broken Garbo auto aim. Because it's garbage. Don't have it. Don't put it in your game. If it's not actual auto aim, I'm going to die. If I die here and have to do this again, I'm done with the game. By the way, just for the record. It uses the auto aim from the original PS1 Resident Evil. The shit one, by the way, that was immediately removed in every other version of the game. If I die here, I'm so fucking done. I can't... I can't I've got to kill him. But I, I, the controls just won't let me. They just won't let me at this point. This gun is awful, by the way. It takes so long to ki fucking kill shit. And! And! The auto reload is a death sentence most of the time. If I can survive this, I will be so fucking surprised. I did it. Oh my god, 30 minutes of my fucking life wasted again on a section of this game. It's crazy hard, that. That is crazy hard. I don't- the, every single other time that I tried to sneak past them, I got stuck on them and instantly killed. By the way, I have no heals. But at least I never have to do it again. At least I never have to do it again. Oh my god. But yeah, don't do the fucking PS1 fucking Resident Evil aiming. There's a reason that every other version of the game stuck to auto lock on aiming. And the fact that that became normal in the PS2 era. When you have auto-aim, I don't want to auto-aim at the one spot. I want it to auto-aim constantly and track the character, okay? Otherwise, it's never good. It's not even really auto-aim at that point. It's just kind of like a waste of time. Alyssa did it as well, by the way. Alyssa is terrible. Utterly terrible game. Great design. Great, great fucking effects and characters and everything. God-awful design. I better focus up. Fuck. Oh, great. Scarecrow fucking my screen up so I can't see shit. I'm gonna guess there's more chainsaws to dodge. Oh god, there's more fucking enemies as well. That! I think I'm going to die here, right? Going this way. It feels like certain death, but I will go the other way first in the hopes that it isn't certain death this way and there's at least a healing item or some shit I can find. <sighs> but I've got a horrible feeling that's instant death. And at this point in time... Oh, I see. I was not in those! Oh my god, I'm sorry if there's not much commentary in my eyes, I'm so angry. I've been on this level for so fucking long. I've died to these 10, 20 times, but like, the timing feels just fucked. Alright, if I die to this guy after all that, it's the first time I've got through. I don't think I can handle it. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I don't- I, I'm so scared. I'm so scared to keep playing because I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. There's enemies everywhere still. Look, just literally fucking everywhere. Heal? A heal. Okay, we gotta heal. Fuck! The problem is right, guys, now, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to go. Is, it, is there a park here? There might be a park here that's worthwhile. Flare, go away so I can see. I don't, ri don't want to risk anything at this point. Heals. I'm on full health now, but... I 
can't fight two of these at once, otherwise I'm dead. Quite frequently these things kill me like one on one. You won't have seen much in this video of that, but they can kill you in like two, three hits. Like it's actually insane how easy it is for them to kill you at this point in time. And how your bullets go through them is the most obnoxious shit I've ever seen. Okay, we're fine. Took a hit, but we're fine. Game, fuck off, Flair. Holy shit. Please. Please be the end of this god-awful section. I have not seen a save, by the way, for 20 minutes. Oh, please. This looks so promising. Please. Please. I don't ever want to see this again. Alright, there's our friend. Eva. Eva, if I suddenly die, and there isn't a save, and I have to do all that fast source section again, I don't think I can put into words how done I am with this game. Huh? This can't be real. Alright, want a train. Was that a save here? Of course not. Why would I need to save after playing for 25 minutes? at this point. I'm losing my shit. So you're saying they're traversing their own proto-world, while their physical body lies here in our Remover's lab, barely holding on. How did they even survive that explosion and the subsequent fall into the sewer river? That's precisely the enigma, Lister. The power of Resurs is unparalleled. Even the Sovereign fears its potential. He knows it might be substantial enough to grant him godlike abilities. This is unbelievable. We must put a stop to... Shh. Let me concentrate and finally guide their consciousness. Got me to a fucking save point. As you say, Ava, you are truly a unique being now. We've all been waiting for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so... Uh, I'm just... Horrifically relieved, I guess is the best way of putting it. We've got a Metro District Pass. Please give, give me a save point. It better fucking be. I have not been so done with the game in a while. Come on. Jesus Christ. I have no idea what just happened. Did we win? If I die here, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind if I have to die- if I die here. I need a save! I- I- I don't want to do this anymore! We're back at the beginning. Right? This is the first area again. I can't even tell if this guy's hostile or not. I need a safe. Please. 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 Give me a safe. Looks like 
Only the electric ones are hostile, maybe? I don't actually know. It's really impossible to tell. I think that's the case. Definitely seems to be. Because I can't shoot these ones, they just seem to, like, just do nothing. <sighs> if I die here because of you, game, not actually fucking aiming, I'm gonna lose my mind. Use the Metro Pass? Yes. Oh, I'm on the other side? I don't see shit. There we go, there we go, there we go. Please save, please give me a save, please give me a save. I could really, really do with that, with that save. Any time now. Maybe there's one down here. There was one down here in the real world, right? Nope, there's nothing here now. Uh, I'm really scared. 40 minutes of progress lost if I die. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. At least they're really slow, right? Something over there. What is it? I'm unable to contact them anymore. This is my final attempt. Okay. I hope they'll take note of this message. <sighs> Light's a weapon, fresh and true. Shatters the arc, it shield, it slew. Wisely wielded, time in view, action measured, victory bruise. Light is a weapon, still is that alter reality? Anyway, could a powerful beam of light harm and expose those warp shadow entities serving as a formidable weapon against them? I guess yes is probably the answer to that question, I'm gonna guess. Oh look, a brain! Human brain. Hmm. Don't know where this goes, but... Everybody loves a human brain. I guess I'm going to try this door. Hang on, I'm going to look at this first as well. No, that's just a sign on the floor. Okay. And this door is nothing? Okay, so where does the fucking brain go? I genuinely don't know. If I died to that man, then I would have been... I would have been gone. i got to be honest. Alright, these ones definitely don't follow me, at least. But where does the brain go? Do you want the brain? Apparently you do! Oh, it's a hand! I couldn't even tell, I thought it was just like a blob. It's the annoying little kid. It is. He seems solid. No, please don't. I don't want to be your daddy. I want you to go. I don't have anything else to give this boy. Wait, except for those teddy bears. Should I offer him one? Sure. Please don't. Please don't attack me. Okay. We have the teddy bear that we've been carrying with us the entire time. I wonder if you didn't have the teddy bear. Oh my god! A fucking save point! So long! Holy shit! It was so long! Oh my god! Reese's EMP Jammer? What the fuck is that for? An unknown mixture. This looks like a final boss fight. Hi. I'm gonna kill the little buttons first. 
Or are they gonna keep spawning? Well, I'm not gonna kill anything at the moment because I'm fucking stuck. Stuck in the fucking endless reload of the flare gun. The worst gun in video game history, potentially. It's definitely up there. There is more use to a gun, to, to, a, to this, to a chocolate, there is more use as a chocolate kettle than this gun. I will, I, I want to point that out. Wow, almost killed me already. All right, what is this? Can I do something with this? What is it? Is it meant to- was that meant to damage him or do anything or something? I don't really understand, I gotta be honest with you. Surely I'm dead. Oh yeah. I'm fucking dead. Oh my god. I'm so glad there was a save point, otherwise I would have been done. Because this has been- this has been so not fun <laughs> that I can't actually put into words how not fun this has been. Great. I can't wait to watch this cutscene 15 more times. I just can't wait. Oh no, I can skip it. Okay, fair enough. I, I won't be mad at that then. I am mad at the fact there's extra enemies in a final boss fight. It's like, it's, it sucks. It sucks. Did that damage him? Oh, it, it knocked them down. Oh, I see. Okay. Those ones are dead. Will they stay dead? Or are they going to be spawning in constantly? If they're dead, it's going to make my life a lot easier. Come on. We just get him to get closer. We zap him and then we shoot him. He doesn't like that. Alright, he's back to wobbly. But okay. With, the fr with his friends dead, this is gonna be easier. Oh, he just came back on. That was lucky. That scream can fuck off, right? Gotta wait till he's right in front of it. No, 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 you fuck. Don't you even dream about doing that. Alright, he's wobbly again. Oh, and he's a wobble bum. Can't kill him. Alright. Final boss, not too bad, now his friends are dead. Bit of a pussy. That was lame. I wonder how many times I have to fucking hit this prick. Because I don't really have any chance left, I'm going to be honest with you, do I? I'm pretty boned here. If this goes wrong, here, I am in trouble. No, 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 no! I can't tell if I'm hitting him here. I think I am. It's in here. Something good? Actually, genuinely, something good. Because it means I might actually survive another close encounter with the fuck. I don't really want to join you. What I'd like is for you not to have a ridiculous amount of health and die. That's what I'd like.
Could be dead. Jesus, that was close. Whatever the fuck's in there, I probably want it. That feels again, but that's okay. Stop screaming like a little baby and get your ass over here. How many hits do you think, guys? 20? Definitely feels that way at the moment. Hey! Get fucked. Get fucked. Wherever the fuck you are, fuck you. Okay? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What a prick. Ugh. Alright, let's get the fuck out of it. I really hope that's the end. That said, I've no idea where I'm going now. <laughs> the large man is dead. All hail the large man. Oh my god. Oh, I can't loot these anymore. Oh, oh well! Gotta find a way forward. Not seeing shit, I'm gonna be honest with you. Is this something intro? I don't. I have no idea. Can I go back and save? If so, let's do that. That seems like. Oh, I see. I see the way forward anyway. It's over here. I hope that was the last boss. I hope there's not more bollocks. That last boss wasn't too bad, just long. <sighs> Finally, you're back. Don't fret, everything is fine. What just happened? Where are we? We're holed up in the Resistance Movement's secret lab. Or shortly, Remover's lab. They took us in. You're incredibly fortunate that I stumbled upon you at the riverbank. Okay, yeah. So three and, and four chapters were in a Shiva dream. Lucky you. This body is now sturdier and significantly stronger than an ordinary human's. You, you're not human now, are you? How are you able to speak with your human voice? I mean, that is text-to-speech, it's not a real human Don't voice. Worry. The plastomorphosis didn't go as planned, and it transformed me into what I am now. It's like a mixed blessing, both a gift and a curse. I don't think the Sovereign and his scientists anticipated this outcome. How was I able to witness visions related to you? What the heck is happening? Relax, take a deep breath. All I can say is that this was linked to the plastomorphosis experiment and it's over now. I'll try to explain later, hopefully. For now, we have a team to meet. Lister, the head scientist, figures you're good for something. Especially after surviving that re overload and that run-in with all those creatures. That evacuation was just the beginning. We've got a big event on the horizon, and we need to gear up for what's coming. Removers have something or someone crucial that'll help us intervene and put a stop to this mess. Right now, any hands on deck count because the Sovereign gearing up for the next phase of their power and control plan. Total domination not just over people, but over Reesers too. How do I know all this? My new body can sift through the data in the research energy streams now. Feels like I'm floating in a void of dark energy that's everywhere in modern city. I have no words. I need to reflect on everything. <laughs> Take your time. I will be waiting for you. Uh, At the end of the corridor. No, well, I guess we're going. 
I have a lot to say about this once we're done. Um, I'm coming, Eva. Very slowly, I am walking my way towards you. Is this it? I've got a horrible feeling this is it. Ah, our fresh faces have arrived. I'm Lister, the sort of leader around here, though in our crew we're all on equal footing. So I'm not the leader. I'm sure you're full of questions, but Eva will catch you up shortly. By the way, concerning our mission. It's high time we track down Jesse Sullivan. She's the linchpin to this whole mess. I hope she's still alive. Her whereabouts remain confusing, but we've gathered our initial leads. Okay, let's go, guys. So the end, right? All right, I have a lot to think say about this. Okay, I can't recommend this game for various reasons, but I will go through the positives first. Okay. It's, it has a cool feel to it, and I like the theme of people turning into plastic. For us, uh, an individual project by, made by one person, by the way, it's it's okay. Like, there's, it's very ambitious. Probably overly ambitious, I'm going to be honest with you, for what it is. But, um, it's, it's, it's got some good ideas there, alright? Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that are wrong with it after the first section. The first level is brilliant. First level, excellent. I can't complain about anything on the first level. Everything in the first level felt like it was my fault. The second level's combat was also fine, by the way. It just had that overarching puzzle that at the end didn't make any sense to me and I felt was very inaccessible. That's my problem with the second level, the, the puzzle, not the actual gameplay. Third level, actually okay as well. It's just a simple escape room. It wasn't crazy. I don't understand one of the puzzles from it. And I feel like a lot of the puzzles appear more complex than they are because of the way they were like written in like oldie worldy riddles and shit. And I know Silent Hill does that, but I don't know. It, it, it felt like un it felt like things were like unnecessarily complicated at times. Um, the third area though, not too bad. I thought it was all right. Nice and short and sweet, different type of gameplay. I was okay with that. The fourth world was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. It was very big, lots of wandering aimlessly through long, muddy corridors. The combat got terrible because it was so easy to die so quickly. Um, the dodging the saws felt really inconsistent and didn't seem to make any fucking sense as to where you were standing sometimes. Um, it was just, oh, the one-hit kills, the fucking ambushes when you pull that lever. That ambush when you play the, pull the lever soured the game so much for me. It really did. Really, really, really pissed me off. I, I hated it. I hated it so much and I got stuck there for so long. Um, I feel like... I feel like the combat is is bad. I'm gonna be honest. It's... It's not even like janky sort of okay bad like Silent Hills. It just, it just feels terrible. <laughs> and I've played and beaten all the PS1 and PS2 horror games. Like I'm very familiar with them. Not many feel as bad as this as this does when it comes to clunkiness. Like maybe Rule of Rose and a few others, but it it, it is it's not fun to play the combat in this. Um, but uh, when you're against the less threatening enemies, and when you're uh, doing the puzzles that that make a lot of sense, the game is fine. I just I can't recommend it. I also I really dislike it's half a game. And I know this is an indie dev, and I know you don't maybe don't have time or the money to fund a full-length project and have to release it in parts. But this is a game about people turning into plastic. We didn't touch on anything. All we did was join the resistance for seemingly a second game where that will be expanded upon more. But we had two levels, the hotel and the wandering around in the dark, sort of like nowhere Silent Hill shit, that essentially were just nothing, really, in terms of things to do with the story. Like... Uh, I would have rather Eva just save us, and then we go and find out more about like the, the body horror aspect of the game. I think I would have preferred that as a story route 
the third and fourth levels felt just inconsequential and just unnecessary. I'm going to be honest with you, I'd rather have stayed in the city exploring and uh, maybe with Eva's help at that point. Um, I just... I can't recommend it. My final score for this is a 4.5 out of 10. It's not awful, and there are far worse games out there. It is a competent, finishable video game, is the nicest thing I can say about it. But overall, I did not think this was great. Too many little fiddly bits that annoyed me, um, and uh, took up far too much time for something that shouldn't have taken anywhere near as much time as it did. And I was using a walkthrough, like... <sighs> <laughs> the walkthrough obviously can't compensate for hordes of enemies surrounding you, making it impossible to move and smacking you down, which was the, the biggest issue. Anyway, um, that's it for Plastomorphosis. Oh, I feel I feel sad that I didn't like this more, because if I if I was just rating the first the first level, I'd give it like an eight or nine. I thought it was that good. But then it's just like downhill from then on. Uh, but it is what it is. Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, Dev, if you watch it, I'm sorry I didn't like a game. I want to like it, I promise. And I, I do appreciate the effort you've put in. This is clearly a labor of love. Um, but it, w it was a slog. It was an unenjoyable slog by the end. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.